All right, I'm going to make a quick guide on how to use the workshop to practice Winston Primal Rage and jumps and juggling. You click play, you click custom games, you hit create, then you do settings, import code, and then you're going to type in TFV1N. Again, that is TFV1N. You hit OK, then you go to maps, you do uh, none, and then you select the map of your choice, let's say Circuit Royale. So Circuit Royale is the other one that says on. I hit back. I hit back again. You see it says Circuit Royale. I hit start. Into the game. Game loads. The only hero you can select is Winston. Great. I hit continue. I'm going to start and spawn. You'll notice the fact that I am permanently in per uh, Primal Rage. Well, really 10,000 seconds, but effectively uh, permanently in Primal Rage. I can jump to wherever I want to. Let's say jump over to like near the start. And then over here, uh, you can see top left of the screen, it says E to try again, Q and space to save you, and then space and left control to save the enemy. So it's going to save as Zenyatta bot. So for example, let's say I want to put the Zenyatta bot here, right here where I am. So you're going to hit space and left control. So I hit both of those buttons at the same time. Again, space, left control, and you see this is Zenyatta bot here. Now I want to save where I want to start from. So let's say I want to start from over here. I'm going to type or push Q and space. Again, you see top left, it says save you in green. Q and space, I hit that, Q space. And now it's a save to the bottom of the screen. So if I want to restart this, I walk wherever I want. I push E, instantly resets both me and the bot to the same spot, right? Over and over again. So no matter where I jump, I push E, resets, right? Jump, wherever, E, resets. Cool. Now we actually begin the actual training. So I jump onto the Zenyatta bot, attack, right? Juggle over here. Juggle, 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 right? And eventually he's going to die. So you might be wondering, why does it take him so long to die? So the way this mode works is whenever the bot is touching the ground, it regenerates health at a crazy rate. So you see Judge Upper there, it does 50 damage, but he instantly regenerates. That's 40 damage, right? Regenerates. 40 damage, regenerates. The only way for me to actually kill him, assuming I want to kill him, is to knock him up. Well, actually, document spot is a bad idea, but I go up here. It's only when I knock him up against a wall and keep him in the air, so that's the, uh, the juggling part. Then, if I do it correctly, I can kill him. It's a little tough when there's like... The ground's not even because he can touch the ground briefly. But regardless, it's not really about killing him. It's really about just learning how to juggle people and move them around to wherever you want to be. Like, yeah, he reset there briefly, but who cares? It's not, not that big a deal. So you can practice this in all sorts of different ways. So for example, let's say I want to try to knock him into the mega room. I can go this way, right? See, see how well I can do. Oh, this little accuracy is a little off. Try again. Oh, still off, right? I need to get maybe more over to the left. Oh, too much, right? You can practice stuff like this. Just trying to get the general direction of where I want him to go. Another option here is let's say that I want to practice offense in this situation, not that I play Winston in this map. So I'm going to change where the Zenyatta bot spawns. So space and left control resets the Zenyatta to here. And then I want to practice as though I was offense. So over here, so Q space and let me reset. Great. So you see the Zenyatta's over there. So I go, I jump, right? Knock them over here. And now I try to knock them off, right? So I can practice again, right? Let's say I want to knock them this way. Right? And see that my, my last jump was short, which I messed up. So again, another jump, right? Let's say I want to knock him against the wall. Right? I messed up right away. Forget it. Nope. Oh, I jump short. Go. Right? Good jump. Nope. Too far. Right? And then you can just practice this over and over again, whatever combination that you want. Right? That's basically perfect. Right? Over. And again, you see, like, the more I'm able to practice it, obviously, the better you're going to get, right? I get a feel for, like, exactly how far I need to jump. Knock him right off the edge, right? This, that was probably a bad jump, a little too high, right? But I get... So now, like, I've gone from, oh, look, I'm having, like, a little trouble, to now I'm able to, like, cleanly get him off the edge, like, very consistently. If, in the event this happens, where they die right before, right as you reset, and they're not here, just reset again, and it's fine. Sometimes this will happen, where if you reset the wrong timing, it'll, it'll go off. So let's imagine I want to try to knock him to the room. Ugh, this is going to be a hard jump at this angle. Oh, there you go. Uh, missed it a little bit. Can I get this? Yeah, there we go. Right now, I get in the corner, and I want to practice jumping in. I think this is actually a pretty hard technique. Is where you where you're juggling someone in the corner, and you're trying to jump in to get extra damage. Sometimes you can knock them out of the out of the room. So that's like a good technique to practice as well. Right, jump in. I messed that up. Ooh. Sometimes they inherit movement too. Jump in. That was a really bad jump, but right, I want to jump for the extra damage. Oh, see, I lost him. I jump with the extra damage. I did okay. Yeah, did 
did all right there. Again, this room's obviously really good for me because <laughs> there's so many corners here that I, even if I mess up, I can still capture them. Anyway, that's all there is to it. Um, hopefully, that gives you an opportunity to then practice jumps, um, just to talk about the jumps really, really quick. So this is like a standard jump. Okay, great. So I got, actually, let me, let me use a consistent spot to start from. So from right here, so let's say I look like 45. This is, you know, standard jump. I make it basically to this doorway. So if I come back here, push my back up against this thing, turn this way. Now, instead of doing a jump that far to the door, let's say that someone's like in the middle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk backwards while looking down. And you see how, how short that jump is? This is what I call a short jump. I talked about this in a lot of my videos. This is what I consider a short jump. So you see this jump only moved me like 10 meters versus the standard jump which moves me like 25-ish. And then for the long jump, you wanna point even higher and go there. And then you can also jump at the end um, regular spacebar jump, not like the, the leap, uh, and you can get a little extra distance. So there, right? Uh, that didn't quite work. It's tough because you actually need a lot of forward momentum for the jump to actually do anything. There we go. So you can see at the end that you got like an extra accelerated jump out of it. It only works when you have like a certain amount of speed. The same technique works on Reinhardt and a bunch of other heroes as well. Okay, I'm gonna stop there. Hopefully this is helpful.